Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a cool video. I don't think I've done an updated way to cycle a tank. And th this is how I do it now. I know I've done it different. I've used really the only thing that changes is, is the products I use now. So, so I thought I'm setting up two new tanks. I've already set up the other one, but I thought some of you guys would benefit from an updated way to, that I cycle my tanks. So this is exactly how I do it. And I'm going to show you guys the products. I'm going to walk you guys through the, through the setup as well. And so I'm going to explain to you guys how important it is to cycle your shrimp tanks. You know, as you guys know, I'm using Akadama soil. And uh, right now I'll go over some of these things. But basically, whenever you put shrimp, uh, whenever you want to buy some shrimp, you don't just throw them in water. Everybody knows this. Some of you guys are very confused as far as when you can add them in there. And honestly, you just, one of the last thing I should have showed you guys is a test kit, okay? Um, you need a, some type of test kit to check the water parameters in your new shrimp tank to make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to explain some of the things to you guys. You've got ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates. Okay, so obviously the pH for caridina, which is what we're doing today, um, pH needs to be lower than 6.5. So as far as Akadama, as far as I know, Akadama keeps it right under 6.0, which is what I've been using. And I, I've really enjoyed it. This is going to be a very simple setup, sponge filter, um, light, I mean, maybe a piece of chola wood. And then, you know, it's a breeding setup. So once the ammonia is able to turn, convert into nitrites and nitrite is able to be converted into nitrates, you'd now have a cycle tank so now this might take a few weeks you know you use products such as life bacteria to get them in the tank uh, um, to, you throw that in the tank and uh, so i'm going to explain all that to you guys so i'm gonna live it all over the place i don't write my i don't script my videos i just you know talk to you guys and so if you guys have any questions if i miss anything please let me know down below so we're going to get started with this i'm going to explain some of the products to you guys um of course for the substrate as you guys know, Caridinas, shrimp need active substrate. We're going with Akadama soil. Um, of course, we got to use RO water or distilled water. For some of you guys that want to do this at home, you can also use distilled water. And so these two things right here are going to be very important. You're going to want to remineral remineralize your water with GH. Okay, this is what you're going to use. You're basically going to strip the water, you know, of all minerals so you, you should have zero to one tds water that's where this baby comes in you check your water with this and uh, so the yeah these are really really important and of course one thing that i've always forgotten to add to my videos is it's ammonia source i always use this sometimes i don't know for whatever reason i always forget to add it to the videos i do use ammonia and so this is super concentrated do not follow the instructions i've made that ter terrible mistake it says something like four four drops per gallon that's completely wrong it, to be fair with you this this tank is a six gallon tank it will probably take like two to three drops of ammonia to get my two two part, parts per million per parts per million for um an ammonia so that's just from my experience if you guys want to try it different go ahead and do it different um and of course we're using them uh, this is powder form bacteria ecological bacteria from Vin from the storm line I'm a big fan of this. It creates a lot of algae. So I'm going to be using that. And of course, I've got the actual liquid bacteria. We got the nitrifying bacteria and the activator. So all of these is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to get started with this. If I missed anything, um, let me know down below. But I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick summary of what happens. You know, these are, these are the, all the products that I use. And so this is the only thing that you guys are going to see. So... I'm gonna get started by adding the substrate. I'm gonna add this in there. I'm gonna do everything where it's actually gonna go. So that way we're not doing all this here, but it's gonna be step by step of everything that I do. Um, and I'll probably make a part two of this once everything is set up, or I might just compress everything into one video so that it's one full setup video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I know I'm all over the place sometimes when I, when I speak to you guys, but you know, I, I, I see this as a way to just have a conversation with you guys. Otherwise, I mean, it'd be really easy for me to write these things out and script them, but then they, they wouldn't be genuine. And so um, if you guys are still watching, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys learned something from this. And uh, if anybody ever asks me about this, I'm going to send them over to this video. 
show you guys the products. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try my hardest to do. I'm going to put links to every single one of these down below in the description. I've, I've never done that before. You know, I, I, I don't know why people do ask me what products I use. And so I'm going to do that for you guys. And I'll try to do better with these videos and the descriptions. So let's get right to it, guys. Um, I'm really excited to set up these new. I already have the shrimp that are going in here. So, you know, in a few weeks, you guys will see what what, what I end up putting in here. Okay guys, so now that I've added the powder bacteria, this next part is actually really important. Remember I, I showed you guys this product? This is the remineralizer. So basically what you're gonna do, is just add it a little bit at a time, pre-mix the water. And then normally what I do on these new tanks, I do something like 90. Yeah, this one's 94 right now. And I think this one is close to 90 so i mean it once i put this in the tank it should sit right around 90. the next step is to fill this up and that way in the next few weeks while this is cycling i don't have to remineralize anymore i can just leave it alone let it do its thing let it cycle that's why i told you guys it's really important to get a tds meter it's also really important to get a test kit of course i've got this liquid testing this is the one i use so if you guys want to take a screenshot um, I will be showing you guys this process once everything is set up and everything is completely cycled. Um, maybe I'll make a separate video on how to exactly to test your water. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the water to the tanks. I won't show you guys that so I don't bore you. And then after that, I'll show you guys the next products that I put in there. Okay, guys, so now I've added the water. This is more or less what it's going to look like. The next product that I'm going to use is the ammonia source this is fishless fuel by fritz and like i mentioned earlier it's super concentrated so all i do you guys can see here is one two three drops three drops is all i need to get this going next thing i'm gonna do is add the live bacteria hi right, guys so we added the ammonia source next thing to do is going to be the, to add the actual nitrifying bacteria. Remember, there's already a bunch of powder in there, a bunch of stuff going on. First day, I always add a full dosage of 5 mLs. Probably not needed, but that's what I do. Next thing I'm going to do is add the activator. This one here, I only do about 2.5 mLs. Um, and then, of course, one last thing that I do is... For the next two weeks, two to three weeks, I'll be adding this daily. And that's the only thing that happens within the next two weeks. And um, I probably only do one and a half mLs to two and a half mLs um, per day. On I just set up this one earlier also. So I'll be doing that for the next few weeks. And uh, that's it, guys. This is what I use. This is what I do. And um, I'll give you guys an update in a few days. And I'll add it to this video. And show you guys this is all you have to do to set up a new tank this, this this is what i use and the way i do every single one of my tanks so i hope this helps some of you guys i'll come back in a few days and give you guys an update and show you guys just how clear this tank is going to be so i did not in fact update you guys in a few days after the setup this is now four weeks after the setup um, the only thing that was added onto here was the sponge filter that was added maybe two days after the, the setup everything else stayed the same the products that I use everything is the same the only thing I want to show you guys is uh, cycling a tank does take time it is now four week mark we've got zero ammonia zero nitrides and we got you know anywhere from five to ten nitrates um, nine, uh, parts per million of nitrates which is 
great that's exactly what we want and so in this video i wanted to show you guys the few things that i added you guys can see here i added a handful of redwood floaters some chola wood and i added some pilo moss and uh so in this video i'm going to show you guys the shrimp that are also going in here i've got pure red lines and pure black lines going in here and they're my personal colonies and i hope to breed them but i wanted to show you guys this tanks what they look like once they're completely cycled and i wanted to share with you guys the results in the same video you know which is you know the shrimp in there all of them doing great we've got a ton of biofilm which is what we want i mean we got the parameters right, right where we want them and so i'm really excited i'm going to give you guys a close-up of what's in here and how each tank looks and tomorrow I'll be showing you guys, uh, I'll, do, I'll be doing a, a liquid testing and uh, show you guys what the parameters should look like. And then I'll put the shrimp in here and that'll conclude this video. So I hope this helps you guys. Let me show you guys what's in here. Okay, so this is my standard six gallon cube. Of course, I've got a whole rack of 10 gallons, but this is for this six gallon. I've got a handful of redwood floaters. Of course, we, we got the Akadama soil. Got a big piece of chola wood, a feeding dish, and back there I added some pilo moss on a moss table. And as you guys can see, if I zoom in a little bit, it's already taking off. It's already doing great. Um, pilo moss was added maybe about 10 days ago. So I do like to, I, I don't mind adding plants during a cycle. A lot of people stay away from that, but I'm just showing you guys what I do. This is what the tank looks like. Oh, of course, once we get a little bit more floaters, and once this moss takes off a bit, um, it's going to look so much better. Every single one of these tanks is also the same, you know, and so that'll be for another video. I'll show you guys all that. But um, that's what it looks like. And tomorrow, I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys water parameters, what they should look like on a liquid, liquid water test. And uh, I'll show you guys the shrimp that are in here. All right, guys, the last thing I want to show you guys is the water test results. Before I get the shrimp in there, um, this is what I use, Freshwater Master Test Kit. It's a liquid test kit. And uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to see, but my pH is sitting right around 6. You guys can see that. Um, I've got no ammonia. I've got no nitrites. And I've only got very little nitrates, but this is perfectly normal. Right around 5 uh, parts per million. Uh so, you know, kind of in between here, it's kind of hard to see, but um, it's definitely cycled. It's good to go. I'm, again, I, I cannot stress enough. You guys got to be patient when it comes to cycling, uh, cycling the tank. This is actually what's going over there. Um, this is what one of my tanks look, looks like. Some of you guys have seen it before. I've got uh, pure red lines and pure black lines. They've been in here for a few days now. I used to have them down there, but I just reset those tanks. So that's going to be another video. I'm going to show you guys everything that was done with the resetting the tanks and everything. But this is what's going in there. And uh, next clip, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take them out, acclimate them, put them in their tanks, and uh, and show you guys how they look in their tanks a, a few days after they go in their tanks. Again, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.